If you ask people what they think of, if you say Nottingham, it's likely to be this character. Yes, Robin Hood. Or perhaps the sheriff and his castle. But there is something else that Nottingham should be noted for. Just north of Nottingham, at Ravenshead, is a fantastic Victorian waterworks. Papplewick was built to supply fresh water to Nottingham in the 19th century. And it is still here today in the 21st, because it was saved from destruction by the Papplewick Pumping Station Trust, a registered charity dedicated to the preservation of the pumping station. The pumping station was built in 1884 um, as part of Nottingham Corporation's um, drive to provide more fresh water for the town. And um, the station here was chosen because it's on a, a good area of um, uh, Sherwood sandstone and um, with a good supply of fresh water. Uh, and also as well on, on the hill um, there was already a reservoir constructed so it was very um, short distance for the water to be pumped up to the, uh, the storage facility. The station is, is very ornate, in, in probably over the top really, um, but typical Victorian style. Um, one of the reasons for that is of course um, Nottingham Corporation were um, building a statement of intent. Um, this was about improving their citizens' um, living conditions by providing fresh water. Uh, they didn't want their citizens any longer to be um, sourcing their water from the polluted River Trent and the River Lean. They wanted to provide fresh water because fresh water was going to equal a better living conditions and longer life. We're now in the boiler house at Papwick Pumping Station and in front of six Galloway boilers. Um, these in fact are probably the oldest boilers in the world that are still insured for steaming. The boilers are made by Galloways and Sons of Manchester. Um, they are a Lancashire type, in other words they've got two furnaces, but they're not true Lancashire boilers. They actually have Galloway tubes in them. They used to use three for three months and then they would swap her onto the other three and the three that they'd finished with would then have to be cleaned out and got ready for the next time they wanted to use them. They would be stoked by two to three stokers during the day and at night there'd be one stoker left on and he'd have to fire all three. And if you're unlucky, you were on the week when they changed over from one set of boilers to the other because then you've got all six boilers to feed for a week to get the new set up ready and hot furnace goes back eight feet and the coal goes in there and the ash drops to the bottom. Um, that furnace goes back six feet and then the furnace goes into one huge tube which covers both furnaces. Within there are 32 vertical tubes that hopefully help the circulation of the boiler. The problem you've got with a Lancashire boiler is that you can end up with a situation where the top is producing steam and the bottom is cold because the circulation is so poor. As we've seen, the boilers provide the steam, but the work of pumping the water up takes place in the main engine hall. Tim takes up the story there. We're now standing in the main engine house and I'm standing above the main well. The well below my feet is 13 feet one way, 8 feet the other and 220 feet deep. The engines at the side of me will operate at 11 and a half revolutions a minute and each stroke it will bring 96 gallons of water to the surface. So in a working day each engine will raise a million and a half gallons. The pump rod will produce 50 gallons on the upstroke due to lift and then when it goes back down it will produce another 46 gallons due to displacement. 
The engine has got a flywheel at 24 tonnes and also there there is a speed governor which keeps the speed constant at the 11 half revolutions. The next floor up gives access to the top of the piston cylinders and the connection links to the beams on the top floor. The beams weigh about 18 tonnes each and they transfer the motion from the cylinders, from the steam end, to the well end to work the pumps. Whilst Papelwick is a scheduled ancient monument, it is a working museum. And there are steaming days and special events throughout the year. Since the Papelwick pumping station trust was formed in 1974 and the station has become a museum, we now um, have undertaken regular steamings for the general public so that we can show people how fresh water um, was originally lifted up from the ground and sent down to Nottingham. Um, pumping station is one of those stations which appeals to everyone. You can have a fantastic day out because it's not just about steam, um, it's about the architecture, uh, it's about the, the landscapes as well. Um, many visitors like to sell their boats on the cooling pond. Uh, we have special event days. But of course one of the big things that the station has become involved with recently um, is weddings. Uh, we are now able to have uh, wedding uh, uh, ceremonies performed here inside the engine house and these are proving very popular. Um, couples are, are finding it a, a unique venue to, uh, to get married in and of course the, the, the higher fee goes to uh, maintaining the pumping station site. There really is something for everyone here and it, it, it really is a, a great day out. So, from special events like the 40s weekend to weddings, Pabblewick is still providing a service to the public.
with its wonderful beam engines set in an ornate Victorian building, this fine example of our working heritage is a must for everyone to see.